Hello, my name is Marco Sprung and I'll show you today the new version of Chaka Monitor. What you can see here is what at the moment happens in the application server I'm running. Actually, this is a wild um, WebSphere Liberty profile. And if you change the activity monitor, you see more or less nodes. So what you can see here is that we have at the moment about 700 nodes and 800 links in between. Not all are active, but it's a very complex call graph. So what is a call graph? When you debug an application, for instance, this test application, uh, I have here heap sort, and you just set a breakpoint. So, and if the uh, your development environment stops the debugging in this breakpoint, you can see here you have a call stack. So this call stack is a call hierarchy. So you can in principle record all these call stacks and find out what is the path through the application. So doing this for an application server is very time consuming. And this was for me the motivation to develop the Chaka Monitor. Chaka Monitor is just a WAR file and you uh, drop this WAR file into the, the deploy folder of your application server and run it. And then you can see all the a combination of all the call stacks uh, of your application server and this in a live mode. So several times, so 100 times, 200 times, maybe 1000 times per second, you get an update of the call stack and the graph is created. So, um, but this is too much information. Um, therefore, I developed a kind of import filter which just focus on the on the names or paths which are where you're interested in so let's have a look at this package com swag client control and here's com swag client boundary uh, if i filter swag the monitor just records the nodes which are called in these packages, which have the same name. So this is for you, the opportunity to focus just on your business logic. So here's the test client. You see at the moment, heap sort is active. So if you switch to quick sort, you see now quick sort is active and merge sort, and then merge sort is active. And if you uh, stop running the client, so no business activity in your uh, application, you see almost nothing happens. So um, this is the import filter. You can also apply this import filter uh, for uh, all the active nodes. So now I remove the import filter and see you see a lot of activity in your application server. And if you filter now for Swag, you see just the activity here in, uh, and you have still imported a lot of uh, active nodes. So depending on what you like to see of your application. The import filter is better or the, the active running filter is better. But what you can also do is uh, focus on, so, on some methods. For instance, here, the call sort bean. Call sort. So now I have just one active node and I can display all the called nodes. So the outgoing calls, or I can focus on the incoming calls or a combination of both. So with this uh, functionality, it's the new functionality, it's possible to focus just on what you like to see. And you see, if you increase the number of call deeps, you get sometimes really a lot of information. And if you decrease the deep of calls, 
you get just what you like to see. Uh, what is also new is the possibility to export model files just with a click. So this is a model file. Also with the configuration of the filter and the, the display configuration. And you can uh, again import this model file to have more time to analyze it. Uh, I think here I have some sample files stored. So let's refresh the application and just drag in the glassfish. This is what happens usually in a glassfish. This here is what happens in a vase liberty profile. And this here is a sample for a Whitefly application server. You see, Wildfly has really a lot of activity. So, um, in the maximum 1627 nodes with more than 2000 uh, connections. And now you can filter and, and do all the, the, the fancy stuff which, which is possible with this. Uh, the range, the, 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 the drawing of the graph is made with WebGL, so it runs in the browser and uh, the performance is good enough to, to display several hundreds of, of nodes in parallel and, and have uh, still uh, a good uh, user experience. Uh, you can also switch off the simulation, so then you have no update in the location of the nodes. This is sometimes very helpful. Good, um, that's all for the moment. Uh, if you like to learn more or uh, browse the source code, just go on the page Software Engineering Candies and here you find the code on ChipHut. Um, here's all the code. If you don't like to compile it, just take the WAR files in the target directories and drop it into your application server, or deploy it into your application server, and you can start to run the application. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to comment, to, to send me questions or proposals for enhancement. Uh, in principle, you need not more than three minutes to download and install all this and run it. Um, yeah, I wish you uh, a pleasant time with it and I hope you like it. Thank you and bye-bye.